Hello everyone and welcome back to another text animation in DaVinci Resolve 15. Now the animation we're going to be doing today is loading bar, okay? So it's going to be a loading bar with the text above it. Anyway, so first thing first, we're going to need a solid color. So we go to Effect Library, under Generators, we look for Solid Colors or Solid Color without DS, I'm sorry. After we have our solid color on a timeline, you right click and look for a new compound clip. You can name it or you can leave it like this. Okay, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to change the name and click on create. Once you have your compound clip, you want to go to the fusion tab, which is right here. Once in the Fusion tab, if you're going to do text animation, it's better to always unlink the Media In and the Media Out node. Just by clicking on this yellow line. Here we go. So first thing first, again, we need the background and we need the rectangle badly. We need them so bad. Otherwise, we can't do this loading bar animation. I'm going to toggle this node so they can appear on the screen. Since I'm going to be working on a single view, so better just toggle the, the background node. In case you want to zoom in and out, you need to hit Control or Command on your computer. And you need to have a mouse with a middle button. Okay, so you can just scroll in with your middle button mouse. Scroll in with your middle button mouse. Sorry, I said that too fast or uh, scroll out with the control or command button selected. Anyway, so then I'm going to change the color of my background to something cyan. Okay, cyan is my go to color all the time. Anytime I need to choose a color. Then I'm going to adjust this. Adjust it so you can have the shape of a line. Here we go. Now this is fine, of course. I just want to adjust the corner radius a little bit. So it looks more like a loading bar. There we go. Looks good. Looks fine, isn't it? All right. So now the idea here, it's simple. We just wanted to apply a mask and just do the animation. So with the rectangle node selected, you're gonna hit Control C or Control or Command C to copy it, and Command V or Control V to paste it. Okay. Now we have two rectangles here. You can't see two because one rectangle is on top of the other rectangle. After that, you want to go to the inspector and under Paint mode, you change this from Merge. To subtract okay and you go to center and you drag it slowly to the right okay now you can see the uh, rectangle under the other rectangle okay, so I'm gonna leave it like this and maybe go for the text now so select the background and go for text node right here text plus and I'm going to type something like uh, loading knowledge. Okay. I know you can't see it on the screen that because we have to make this merge node appear on the screen, but not now because I want to go back to my second rectangle and do the animation. So make sure that, that you have the playhead right in the beginning. Click right here on this dot. Then I'm going to drag my playhead around 80. Go back to center and just again drag it all the way to the right until the full line under it appears. 
here we go i think i went uh, uh i went over it a little bit okay so this should be fine now if i click play okay you can see uh, what i'm talking about okay sounds good sounds good sounds good all right now to see the the bar and the text together we're gonna go to our merge node and just click right here and click right here and here we have it i'm gonna click on the text just to adjust the size like this and now you have a choice for the background uh, for the um, for the loading bar you can either leave it like this or you can add a uh, glowy effect to it i want to add the glowy effect so i'm going to select my background uh, and then hit control or command space you're going to have the select tool window popping up at your face and you need to look for soft glow okay this one right here Now you can see that it looks a little bit uh, flashy. Mm, I like it this way. With the soft glow node selected, of course, you can adjust it under the inspector. So we have the threshold. Okay, we have the gain. I'm going to leave it like this. I don't want to change the gain. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. No, I'll just leave it like this. Um, here we have the glow size in case you want to change the glow size of your uh, of your uh, loading bar just to give you an idea okay so you can maybe leave it like this if you like it like this i think i'm gonna leave it like this okay so it looks like the force all right so i think we're pretty much done we just need to connect everything together so we're gonna connect the hold on just gonna increase the size of my node graph so we connect the merge one to media out we connect the media in to the media out and then we're gonna have a second merge node appearing automatically this is normal you just leave it right here nothing to worry about go back to the edit tab uh, and you can see our animation right here okay time to add the background okay maybe just select your image and if you have the same problem as me like this select the image and zoom in a little bit Okay, so it covers the whole screen. And if I click play, yeah, it looks good. Hmm? You can even add a glowy, uh, a glowy effect to your uh, to your text. Eh? It's also feasible, but I just don't want to do it. I don't know why. I don't want to do it. Maybe it's not gonna look good. So anyway, if I, if you want to add. Uh, glowy effect to your text you just select the soft glow control c and go to your text control v or command v you have a glowy text okay glow size maybe like this no what do you think guys let's go back to the edit tab to see what's going on Okay, maybe we leave it like this too, eh? With the glowy text, you can change the color of the text to a to a to a light orange, maybe, if you want. So you know, since orange is a complementary color for blue. Anyway, so that was pretty much it for the uh, loading text animation or the loading bar text animation. If you liked the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and see you on the next tutorial.